the four nomads remain in the north of the MK's territory. The nomads' roars echo down the valley. Defiant Thor leads the chorus. The nomads are throwing down the gauntlet to the aging kings. With cubs and their pride to protect, Axel and Mohawk must respond. They might be old, but there's still some fight left in them. The brothers set off, pushing north. They sent Mark with Urin, leaving a clear warning to the nomads that they're a force to be reckoned with. This is still their kingdom. The nomads are undeterred. They rise to the challenge and push south, traveling through the night. <laughs> heading deeper into MK territory. Thor leads the way as they leave calling cards of their own. Under the cloak of darkness, they sweep through the punk's realm. In the morning, Nathan catches up with them. So the nomads are just a couple of hundred meters over there. I mean, they've moved five miles in one night. They're pushing closer to the punks, but also to the cubs. The cubs are probably another two miles down south, so they're not that far away, really. With the nomads a little too close for comfort, Sam is back on the trail of the five MK Cubs and their mothers. Almost as soon as she finds them, the mothers leave. The mothers up and left, and now we're sitting here with five beautiful cubs um, all to ourselves. So it's quite, it's quite amazing. We are officially lion babysitters. <laughs> Away from their mother's watchful gaze, the cubs have the chance to play. It's crazy watching these little cubs. You can really see the different characters coming through. Spotty's up to his old tricks, trying to dominate his siblings. Oh, look at Spotty. He just seems really confident, and he looks like he's going to be quite a brave little guy. Although they act tough, it doesn't take much to cut them back down to size. Something's just startled them. A hooded vulture's just landed. Oh, they're running away.
bad, bad babysitters. <laughs> we haven't protected them from the vultures. <laughs> and just like that, the cubs have fled into the bushes. We're just going to stay here for now. We're not going to follow the cubs um, because they've got so nervous from this hooded vulture landing. It's probably just best to let them be so they can sort themselves out. Um, you don't want to follow them when they're already scared. All she can do is wait and hope Rosa and her sister come back soon. Meanwhile, Nathan leaves the nomads and heads north to see how the Hollywoods are doing in the far-flung reaches of their territory. Hopefully see if we can pick them up along the river. It's a little bit more open and see if they've come down to drink. Ah, there they are. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like five of the Hollywoods lying here quite close to the river actually and staring at all the pukas and impalas in the distance so obviously quite hungry. Ah, oh, there's Ava. It's fantastic to see them now all together. It's not long before the Hollywoods are on the move. Ava, who seems to have mostly recovered from her injuries, spots a lone kudu antelope. She's always been the Hollywood's most successful hunter. But this time she holds off to let the younger ones do the running. It's amazing the speed which they sort of eat this kudu compared to a tough buffalo or a hippo. I mean, they have just almost half gone through it already, and it's only just happened. They need to be quick. It isn't long before the scavengers begin to arrive. And look at this, the first vulture already coming in, second vulture already coming in. When one drops, they all follow. Hey, Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.